Ryan the Last Dragon is directed by Don Hall and Carlos Lopez Estrada and stars Kelly Marie Tran, Aquafina, Isaac Wang, Gemma Chan, Daniel Day Kim, Sandra Oh, and Benedict Wong. Now, my biggest problem with this film is that it has an incessant need to continually drop exposition into the audience's laps. Now, for a kid's movie in a reimagined Earth, it makes total sense and is fine to have 5 to 10 minutes of exposition dumps at the beginning of the film, or maybe one or two throughout it, in order to properly set everything up in a world where it's all completely new and to have this story make sense to the viewer. However, there are multiple times throughout this runtime where the story completely grinds to a halt in order for a character to deliver a boatload of exposition, whether it be related to the next land the troop needs to go to, or something specific about a character, or what has happened in the past. It's not annoying and certainly does not ruin the movie for me, but it, it did tend to get on my nerves to a point where it just felt unnecessary where we are reiterating the same information that we might already know, or is presented in a way that easily could have been just discovered by the characters throughout the course of the film without outright having to tell the audience what's going on. Like I said, it's not a bad thing, but it, it does tend to bog the film down in a way. Now, on the other hand, just about everything else, else in this film is great. Uh, the world is decently fleshed out, given all of the exposition that we've already received. And for something that is trying to be uh, completely on its own and making its own world, it does a very good job. Each land feels distinct and extremely stylized, and every color they choose to fill this world in is vibrant and pops off the screen, making these characters feel distinct and different from each other. Now, my main problem with the animation really comes down to the character designs. Every character is different, like I said, but there is just something in them, something in their eyes, something in their face that feels dead to me as the viewer, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's just because they don't feel uh, cartoony or really specific to this world, but every other Disney movie has a very different look to their characters, for the most part, uh, in their character designs, and Raya just does not stand out enough for me in a way that makes it feel special. As for the voice cast, I really like everybody. Kelly Marie Tran and Aquafina have some great voice chemistry together, and to be frank, their parts of the film uh, really were my favorite parts when they're together. And this is the first thing I can genuinely say I liked Aquafina in since Crazy Rich Asians. Everyone else in here is good as well. There really is not a bad acting, a voice acting performance that I could point out uh, throughout the entire film, which is great. But uh, it was really a nice treat to hear Benedict Wong because I had forgotten or maybe not even known that he was in this film. But his character was a lot of fun and I liked his performance. Made it feel different. And there is a ton of action throughout this film that I think is done very well. Uh, for a Disney movie, especially an animated one, uh, the number of scenes that are included are very surprising. They're fun, action-filled. Uh, you don't really kind of know what's going to happen. And we do see some good character um, growth through these scenes. But for an animated Disney movie, there's a whole hell of a lot more action going on in here than I thought there was going to be. I do have some minor problems with the script and screenplay-wise. Uh, characters just seem to be forgotten every now and then, and the main monsters that we're supposed to be afraid of, uh, that we're trying to quell and see the heroes vanquish, have very loose rules about them and really don't seem to pose that big of a threat and are certainly not a looming overall presence and really don't seem to be trying to kill everybody in the world like everybody's saying. But these are minor issues. They really don't bog the movie down for me. They don't ruin the movie. It doesn't have a huge impact on them besides me just trying to find something to pick in a movie that is very well done. Now, this isn't my favorite Disney movie. It's one of their better animated movies that the studio has released in the last few years and is certainly one of the most creative, flashed out, and interesting worlds that have been included. But in the end, I think Raya and the Last Dragon is certainly good and worth your time if you're considering renting it on Disney Plus for $30 or venturing out to see it in theaters like I did. But it's a, gr it's a good movie. Not a great movie for me. Uh, 78 out of 100.